Have you driven a Ford lately? Ford and your local Ford dealer who invite you to see the 1983 Ford Cars and Trucks present the USFL Stars in Action. Let's take you to Giant Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Boston Breakers, and the still winless New Jersey Generals. Bobby Scott and Herschel Walker hook up here, 39 yards through the air, a rare catch for Herschel, and a first and goal at the Boston one. That set up a touchdown. But when it counted later in the game, Herschel didn't come through. Here, after a six-yard gain, he forgets the football, and Boston recovers. And that set up a Boston touchdown. Then in the fourth quarter, Herschel, after an 11-yard gain, coughs it up once more. And Boston has possession again. And moments later, Bobby Scott. Well, this happens in Sandlot football. He loses control. Boston gets it again. The Generals blew it, and Herschel knew it. Oh, I think after, uh, at least after having yourself down for a while and and uh, coming back and being kind of, at least kind of, halftime that we had, we had a lot of emotion. We was at least we had, at least we was winning. We was in the driver's seat, and then we went out and we had a few disappointments, but then we still had a scoreboard up there. And then lately we, at least our farming, and then that's what really disappointment came. The bottom line, New Jersey remains winless. They lose to Boston, who goes to three and one, 31 to 21. Saturday night, Legion Field, Birmingham, Alabama. The Arizona Wranglers against the Birmingham Stallions. Arizona with a two-game winning streak. They were stymied by this man, Scott Norwood. Here, a 48-yard field goal for the first of his three three-pointers. A little later, from 36 yards out on the rain-soaked field, Norwood connects again. He booted another one later from 32 yards out to give Birmingham a 9-0 lead. It was 9-7 with under two minutes left, fourth and one. They go for the first down, and Cornelius Quarles gets more than they bargained for 39 yards and a touchdown to seal it for Birmingham in an upset. They win it 16 to 7 over Arizona and Arizona drops to 2 and 2 while Birmingham moves to 2 and 2. Soldier Field, Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, 2-1, comes into the game against the Blitz unexpectedly at 1-2. Under a minute left, first half, Greg Landry for Tremaine Johnson, the gifted one from Grambling, 36 yards to the one-yard line. That sets up Kevin Long, a one-yard plunge over the left side for the touchdown for Chicago. They let it 10 to nothing at the half. Then Tom Ramsey took over the L.A. controls for Mike Ray, and he finds Tony Bodie out of the backfield all alone, 40 yards and a touchdown. It was 10-7 Chicago. But then Greg Landry finds Doug Cozen. Watch the nice grab in the corner of the end zone. The pass was a duck. He made the grab. 2014 Chicago knocks off Los Angeles in Chicago. Both teams are now 2-2. Two two. The scene, Veterans Stadium, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The battle of the unbeaten in week number four of the USFL. The Tampa Bay Bandits, the Philadelphia Stars. John Reeves knew the surrounding. He played for the Eagles in Philadelphia. And he finds Eric Trevelyan, 33 yards for the touchdown, 7-0 Tampa Bay. Calvin Bryant, the league's leading rusher, answers the call for Philadelphia. Running through tackles, 35 yards for the touchdown, the tight end at 7. Chuck Fusina, playing while injured, had a miserable day. Here it's picked off by Jeff George. He returns it 24 yards for the touchdown, 20 22 the bandits a homecoming for Reeves. The first time back at the vet, I started here professionally, played here for three years, and uh, it's good to come here and come out of winter. Stars were tough, and uh, we're kind of holding on at the end, but we're glad to take home the victory to Tampa. Tampa Bay remains the only unbeaten team in the USFL. They knock Philadelphia off 27 to 22. RFK Stadium, Washington, D.C. The crowd and the Federals still hungering for their first victory. The Michigan Panthers providing the opposition. Kim McQuilkin to Mike Holmes in the second quarter. 40 yards for the touchdown. 10-0, Washington in the lead. And then Anthony Carter earns some of his lucrative salary. Watch this play. 33 yards the result, but he breaks a tackle, runs through a man for the touchdown that made it 10-7. Washington still ahead. One second left before the half. McQuilkin for Joey Walters all alone in the end zone. Big touchdown, 16-7, Washington. The score was tied at 16, though. Last play of the game, Novo Biovic ties it at 16, and that sends it into overtime, 43-yard field goal. 
First drive in overtime, McQuilkin leads the feds and then finds Walters for the touchdown, 22 yards. The Federals break into the win column, 22-16, the final over Michigan. The USFL stars in action have been brought to you by Ford and your local Ford dealer who invites you to see the 1983 Ford cars and trucks. Have you driven a Ford lately?